To most of us, the sun seems unchanging. But if you observe its surface, it is seething with vast explosions and ejections. This activity has its origin in intense magnetic fields generated by swirling currents in the sun's outer layer. Scientists call it the solar dynamo. It produces the well-known 11-year solar cycle, which can be seen as sunspots come and go on the sun's surface. But models of the solar dynamo have only been partially successful in predicting the solar cycle. And that might be because a vital component is missing. After studying full-disc images of the sun's magnetic field, Professor Valentina Zarkova of Northumbria University and colleagues discovered that the sun's dynamo is actually made of two components, coming from different depths inside the sun. The interaction between these two magnetic waves either amplifies solar activity or damps it down. Professor Zarkova's observation suggests we are due for a prolonged period of low solar activity. We will see it from 2020 to 2053 when three next cycle cycles will be very reduced the magnetic field of the sun. Basically what happens, these two waves, they separate into the opposite hemispheres and they will not be interacting with each other, which means that resulting magnetic field will drop very dramatically nearly to zero. And this will be a similar conditions like in Mount the Minimum. What will happen to the Earth remains to be seen and predicted because Nobody who developed any programs or any models of terrestrial response, they based on this period when the sun has maximum activity, when the sun has nice these fluctuations and its magnetic field very strong. But we are approaching to this stage when magnetic field of the sun is going to be very, very small. She suggests it could be a repeat of the so-called Monde de Minimum, a period in the 17th century with little solar activity that may have influenced a cooling on Earth. Whatever we do to the planet, if everything done uh, only by sun, then the temperature should drop similar like it was in Monde de Minima. At least in the Northern Hemisphere, when this temperature is well protocoled and written, we, we didn't have many measurements in the southern hemisphere. We don't know what will happen with, with them, but in the northern hemisphere, we, we, we know it's very well protocol. The rivers are frozen. There were winters and no summers and so on. So we only hope because this amount of minimum will be shorter. The amount of minimum 17th century was about 65 years. The amount of minimum which we expect will be lasting not longer than 30, 35 years. Of course, things are not the same as they were in the 17th century. We have a lot more greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, and it will be interesting to see how the terrestrial and the solar influences play out. This is promising research, a new insight into our sun with predictions as to its future behaviour. Yet Professor Zarkova relates that some climatologists resented her discovery. Some of them were welcoming and discussing, but many, uh, some of them were quite, um, I would say, pushy. They were trying to actually silence us. Some of them contacted Royal Astronomical Society, demanding, behind our back, demanding them to withdraw our press release. The Royal Astronomical Society, they replied to them and cc to us and said, look, this is the work by the scientists whom we support. Please discuss this with them. We had uh, eight or ten exchanges by email when I tried to prove my point. And I'm saying, I'm willing to look what you do. I'm willing to see how our result, we produce what Sun has explained to us. So how it is transformed into the climate, we do not produce. We can only assume it should be. So we're happy to work with you and add to your data our results. So don't take the sunspots which you get. We can give you our curve. 
work with Alcov. So th they didn't want to. Professor Zarkova's work may have significantly improved our ability to forecast solar activity. If we do enter a new Monde minimum, then we are bound to discover new things about our sun and its influences on our climate.